The switcher element is an element that allows you to switch between different content. It's similar actually in a way like tabs. As you click on different tabs, you will have different content appear. But the switcher has a dedicated button that looks like a switch, left or right. And we're going to look in this video how to do that. Before we do that, welcome here to Learn Brizzy. I am JP, your friendly host, taking you all the way to the end of this video. And the switcher element is a Brizzy builder element that is included in both the WordPress plugin Pro as well as in Brizzy Cloud Pro. It's a mouthful. I have to remember every time to make sure I get that all done. Let's look at Mr. Switcher. Bring in a new block, add a blank block, and I see it's only one column. And then over here, we go to our elements, and the switcher is currently the last one from all the elements. Before we do anything, I was interested to see that when I change the styling, if it will change the color. And let me do one more. Okay, no. So the switcher is not connected to any styling. It's just something I had been thinking of. Let's look at the switcher. When you click on it, you activate the toolbar and you have your settings like usual over here. Two settings that will be important while styling and setting up the switcher up here is the switcher function over here and then the settings over here where the width is. Again, it's a feature I would like actually to see here because then you have everything very nicely together and you can just do it from one splash screen. So let's look at the style. Currently, you have this tab tab style and then you have this little switch style as well. Let's go for the first one and see how we will tackle that. And here is why this setting over here comes into play the width. Double click on the label. OK, triple click because it's two words. And I'm going to type in here option uh, monthly option. That's often what happens is you have something that you are selling to people monthly. And if I triple click on this one, I'm going to say annual subscription. And you see what we have here. We have a problem here that the text is a little bit hickey. And that is where Mr. Width comes in. Go to settings, grab the width slider, and you drag it until it fits in nicely. Remember that because the width option plays this role when it's on this first setting over here. The spacing, grab that, is between the content and your switcher. The only thing left for your switcher is then to do styling in terms of typography. Let's blinker. What is blinker? Let's put it on blinker and then click here in size. And I'm going to use the scroll wheel on my mouse just to scroll up. And then I'm going to let it go. Let's see how that looks. Whoa, way too big. Let's go down to something like 24. That looks good. Let's give it a little bit more width. And let's see what we can do in terms of color. So we have the background. And then we have the text, the border, and the shadow. What is this one down here? So this is active. So let's carefully go through this so we don't screw it up. Background, let's see. Background is going to be the background of the entire switch. Then the text, let's put the text on white. It's going to be for the entire switch. The border, that's going to be again for the entire switch. And you can add a little bit of a shadow there. Let me add there 555 five, five, and bring it down this right and i'm forgetting again this one is dispersion so i want the 10 there and then that one i want zero and then five and five okay looks a little bit better give it that i think five is too big don't get lost on the shadow jp good so there we've got that let's click again on it go to color and then active will be this button only so let's change it background to green good that works and then the text let's put that on purple very difficult to read, so let's put it dark, and you can then add a border there as well. Size of the border over here. Let's put it on two, make it a little bit thicker. Okay, so there you've got this, what we often call a pill-shaped switcher. And then the next question will be, what can you do in terms of content? And the thing is, you can do anything your heart desire. You can bring in columns, a row. You can bring what an image over here, a video. And then if you click on it, you bring in something else for this one. Let's put in a line. And I'm just throwing in random stuff there. Where is a gallery? Let's put the gallery there. So if I click on it, click, 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 click. Let's update and go and view it on the front end just to make sure that it performs as advertised. Oh, that looks pretty nice. 
needs a little bit of tweaking, but it works like a charm. Now let's go see what this one will do in terms of tablet view. All right. Can we make changes here? We can make changes to the width and also the size of the text. So if the text were too big, let's put it down to 16. And then we can grab the width here and reduce it. Bring in that responsiveness. Excellent, your excellence. Oi, this one definitely needs some fine tuning here. I'm going to put this on 14. And then we click on the settings and bring it in. Interesting, that one is so big. Great, groovy. And then we go back up. Let's go and cycle through the responsiveness. Shortcut key is Control minus, Command minus to go a level down, like so. One more. And to go up is Control plus, Command plus. That looks good. And then, of course, the content here. Now, the only thing that still needs to happen in Brizzy in the future is that we have a problem here. We cannot copy all this content we have here, click and then paste it something like a block. If it would be so awesome if I had a template that I can drop in here or a block, but that is something I hope the future brings for us. Because then if I work on something like a subscription, I can work on a template for monthly. And then when I go to annual, I can just paste that entire setup here and I can just make a few tweaks. Just curious if I click here on the color, it will stay the same. I'm going to create a new one because you know there are two options. This is the second one over here. This one behaves a little bit differently, and that's why I want to make a second switcher. Add a new block, add a blank block, and then we drag in that switcher again. And then instead of using these pill-shaped ones, we're going to use the switcher button like so. Where it works differently is that when I click on it now and you go to settings, you will see instead of width, it says size. And size will increase the size of this switcher. So if people really cannot see that switcher, you help them with that. Let's have a look then here. We have the spacing again. And over here, you can either add something or add nothing. You can delete all of that if you want. And I'm curious, can I get it back? Ah, there we go. Okay, for a moment, I thought I couldn't get it back. So let's say annual license, annual license. Okay, that's wrong. It's, this should be the annual license. Okay, doesn't matter, right? Uh, uh, there we go. And then this one will be the lifetime license. And then you will add those necessary things below. Let's change it also. Let's put this one on oxygen. Move it up to 32, see how that looks. That looks groovy. And then let's also do some styling here for the color. It's going to be the same background. Let's put this one on that human peachy color. And our text. Okay, let's put that on purple. And the border, we have the shadow again. And then over here for the active color, I'm going to put that on pink. Oh, it's on text. Let's go to background, text. There we go. And then you have your content over here again. So currently lifetime license, and if you click there, it's going to give you the annual license. The switcher works very nicely, and it's a great feature. It's within Brizzy Pro. As it stands at this moment, a great feature, done the Brizzy way, styled the Brizzy way, simple to use the Brizzy way. It's an excellent feature within your Pro Brizzy WordPress plugin, as well as your Pro Cloud.